everyone and welcome to my new dolly paint video and this is actually the first time we're sitting like this in my studio and this is because i decided to change a little bit the format of my videos i don't know it's probably quite normal in the beginning when you just start your youtube channel you make very short videos with some very short subtitles just like straight directions cut hair, draw eyes, reroute, and all stuff like this. Then your subtitles become bigger and bigger with full sentences because you really want to communicate, you want to explain things. Then already your comments, your information becomes really like too big for the subtitles and you start making voiceovers. And then at certain point of your career, you start to realize that even voiceover is not enough anymore and you want to sit here personally and show and tell everything yourself what you're doing how is it going because yeah talking hands it's of course a very good video format but it's not enough for me so i really hope you're going to enjoy this new format of my videos because i've bought a new camera for it you yeah you can see it so I really hope you're gonna like it and please write me in the comments under this video what you think about it. Maybe you prefer the old format better or maybe you like the new format but certain things should be changed. But first of all, let's dive into this video because how can you write comments about something you haven't seen yet? And today I'm going to continue working on my Zodiac doll collection and since it's the end of February, it means it's time for Pisces. Hello Pisces, how are you doing? Please write a comment under this video if you are if you are a Pisces, if you are born in the end of February or in March. And we're gonna check it out if I have more Aquarian people or Pisces here on my channel. But anyway, it's for later. Now let's take a look at the doll I've prepared for the transformation today. And this is such a Laguna Blue doll. I kept her really for a very long time, especially for this makeover, especially to turn her into Pisces because she is such a mermaid version of Laguna Blue with a tail and there are problems with this doll, honestly, because, no look, this doll just cannot sit, look, I will try to put her here, I, I don't know, I don't know how can you make something like this, how do you supposed to play with this doll, just I don't know, just run around with this like this, or what, what is the point of this doll? It cannot stand, obviously, maybe just with some display holder, but then the display holder should be very tall. Uh, this doll cannot really sit, it's falling back and forward, depend how you try to place her. But she's pretty, yeah. And first of all, of course, let's prepare this doll for customizing and here everything is quite regular. So first of all, I'm removing her outfit. Voila, done. <laughs> There's not much clothes this time. And the next step is actually already removing her head. And for this I will use like always my hair dryer. You see it's always laying here next to me and I'm going to blow to the doll's head for approximately 2-3 minutes. You see, now it's still hard. I cannot really push it. Okay, now I think it's soft enough, but you see, I'm doing something new, I mean filming, and I forgot the very important step. First of all, I needed to cut her hair. But anyway, let's do it now very quickly. urgently buy new scissors because look these ones are banded these ones I used for cutting some glue they don't cut anything anymore quickly quickly before the glue gets hard again completely okay now removing her head it's always risky business you can always crack the neck you can always crack uh, the back inside there always can happen something so hold the doll's neck very good with your fingers here around the neck and then pulling gently 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 pulling the head yep here we are and then I take my ugly tweezers, they went through lots of experiments, and I start 
removing those hair from the inside of the head. The first achievements. Oh yeah, this glue is by the way quite dry. There is sometimes very nasty sticky one and there is sometimes quite more pleasant one. Let's <laughs> go like this. And it's done. Now her head is completely clean and I'm going to give her completely new beautiful hair. And especially for this, I've bought a pack of pre very pretty teal saran hair and also very matching color, a little bit maybe more turquoise tinsel. So I'm going to mix these two kinds of hair together to get beautiful long mermaid hair. This is the tinsel. Wow. Oh, so pretty. Look. So I'm taking my rerouting tool, you've seen it already a couple of videos ago, I still like it and this first original needle is not broken yet, so I can start rerouting her hair. It takes of course a little bit longer than rerouting the hair with one color because you kind of need to pick up two colors every time, but I think the, the result is worth it of its time and its work. You know, I think I will go do it on the sofa <laughs> because it will take a couple of hours and already have pain in my back from sitting here. And then in a couple of hours I will come back to you and I will continue. So, and here is her new hair a couple of hours of later and it's actually already 3.30 in the morning. So let's quickly add this tacky glue inside of her hair, spread it nicely inside with these q-tips and go to bed. I think it's time. Work good today. And then it should dry for sure for 24 hours. That's why I really wanted to finish it today or tonight. So it's the new day and let's continue working on my project. You see I've already removed my hair because I don't want them to be sucked inside of this rotating tool. Because this is actually exactly what we are going to do now. I'm going to take this doll and I'm going to increase a little bit the flexibility of the joints like I always do it lately in my videos if you if you've watched them of course <laughs> if you watch them you know what I'm doing and I'm going to remove all this plastic that doesn't let these joints actually move and if I fail then we can cut it off and sculpt a new mermaid tail but we'll try to avoid this so what we're going to do look if we bend this body like this we see that plastic here and plastic here doesn't let this body to move deeper. And this is exactly what we are going to do now. So we're taking my dremel and let's go. So, and here we are, you see maybe the result is not so dramatic like with the elbows and knees of the doll, but anyway, there is a difference, for sure I would say 10-15 degrees and it's already enough to let this doll sit. Look, we will test it now, you remember how she was falling here lately. Voila. And this doll is sitting and I can put her here to sit at the side of my table. You see sometimes such a small difference really, I'm talking now really about 
10-15 degrees can already mean that much and here is also another thing you see I found here on the back of this doll such a hole for a display holder so in the beginning of this video I said I have no idea how this doll is supposed to stand or sit or anything yeah now I see how it's all meant to be there is a hole for a display holder but since our doll can sit now perfectly don't fall you can sit I fixed you sit so since our doll can sit now <laughs> I don't really need this hole anymore and actually I don't really like the way it looks. No, I don't know, we're making some art here, or pretending to make some art here. So I'm going to fill in this hole with this epoxy sculpt that you know of course already. And I will need some gloves because otherwise I will get 300 comments about the fact that this product is toxic. And of course you are right, this product is toxic and we must use gloves when you're working with this and now i'm going to let it dry for 24 hours like it said on the package now i think we should check how our head is doing and how are we checking if the glue is dry we're taking q-tips putting on close-up camera to let you see everything what i'm doing here voila you're online <laughs> and with the q-tips i put it inside and i check if it's dry or not yes it looks dry to me not really sticky maybe it's just slightly slightly sticky so i think the head is done so i can now remove her makeup and protect the hair to remove her makeup i will use acetone like always it's already my second liter bottle it's also already not that full anymore especially after all these plastic surgery things when i use a lot of acetone to shrink those hats you've seen it last week in beyonce video for example and now I'm going to cover this doll's face with a couple of layers of white acrylic paint using my airbrush. I could of course work with her original skin tone because she looks very mermaidish, but we've just applied this epoxy sculpt to her back and it will look more gray, so I think I will just paint the doll white and work like from the empty page with a blank canvas. And then I spray her face with three layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant. And while the sealant is drying, I can choose and prepare the pencils. And this time I want to base her look on a combination of such a teal, turquoise, blue, greenish color with a pink, very cold pink one, because I think it's quite a pretty combo and it's gonna match, I think, such a siren mermaid look so here are all my pencils let's see what i can use and let's make these pencils very 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 sharp i will need of course some very cold neutral color to sketch her eyes and eyebrows and this one is kind of the same a little bit more brownish maybe some other brown colors darker and lighter this is our nude section here are the highlights pink for the lips then here we have such a green turquoise and such a teal color for her eyes a little bit purple also for her lips it should go together with this pink yellow for some accents in her eyes black where is white white gray for shadows in her eyes and red to the waterline okay then the pastels this light pink i will need i think a little bit darker pink see i'm choosing mainly such pinkish colors because I'm going to make it cold pink maybe with a little bit purplish accents like this one for example for darker areas let's sketch first the eyes and eyebrows and then also start like basic contouring and shading so this time I'm going to make very big very cartoonish eyes if you watched Mary Payne two weeks ago when I made the marionette doll 
I said that I want to continue working with Laguna Blues and especially in this very cartoonish style, so here we go. I'm going to make really such a siren with very long hair and with huge eyes. Yeah, looks cute, I think. And then still the eyebrows. You can sketch the eyebrows with pencils or you can also use pastels. You know, before I used to use pastels all the time and then shape them with an eraser. It worked perfectly. There is nothing to say about it. The only reason why I changed this moment a little bit and started to do it all the time with a pencil is because then I can immediately now, without applying a layer of sealant, I can already immediately now uh, start blushing her face with pastels. And if I sketch her eyebrows with pastels, I will have to protect this layer with the sealant and then apply another layer of pastels. So when I start with the lightest pink color, so like this, I'm giving her very sweet and cute pink makeup. And also, of course, you shouldn't forget about the back of her head, about here, the jawline, the ears, things like this. Then I repeat this layer again, and I again protect it with the sealant. Now I will try to make darker and deeper, mainly the eye creases, you see. Also a little bit here on the top of her nose or even under her nose where the natural shadow falls. Okay, I've sprayed the last layer with the sealant and now I would like to know how is the doll body doing there because it's already for sure more than 24 hours past, I would say 36 or something. Yeah, the epoxy sculpt is dry completely so I can now sand it with nail buffers like always. Just remove this glossy top because you cannot paint anything that glossy and slippery like all your sealants and varnishes and everything will just peel off immediately and now let's take acetone free nail polish remover where are you? acetone free yeah here we are because if we would use the one with acetone it would simply melt the doll's body like i would make this cotton ball wet i would put it to the doll's body and it would simply stick to it and here all this plastic would be melted and then also to her neck i'm going to attach some kind of a rope or a thread something what i will find now here my table Voila. You see, now I will be able to hang her like this, for example, on a doorbell or to some other place where people will be happy to see her hanging, for example. <laughs> and now I need to take my airbrush. Here is my white paint, shake bow. And then I cover it completely with this white paint. And while all these layers of white paint and then Mr. Super Clear sealant are drying, I can continue working on her face. I think I'm quite happy with the skin tone already. And I can take my pencils and start add more colors. What should I? Should I start probably with the eye color? Very blue, like green blue, fit in her hair color. Looks pretty, looks colorful. Let's also make the pupils black. Also, I want to define some more the eyelids using pink, a little bit maybe brownish, and even some purplish pencils. Then I also want to draw the eyebrows and also some purple I'll set to the eyelids. But not much, just in the darkest places. and quite fine lines. 
and then I take again a little bit of pink pastels the same ones that we used for her cheeks and I apply these pink pastels also to her lips so and now I'm taking a white pencil and I cover completely the squares of her eyes and it usually takes me you know, two sometimes three layers to build up nice white coverage i also draw a little bit better the waterline with the red pencil and i also highlight a little bit here so now i'm going to draw the gray shadows on the white of her eyes you see now the white is white enough <laughs> i needed to apply two layers of white pencil and seal it with Mr. Super Clear. Then I take some brown pencil and I still define some more of the eyelids. So now with the light pencil I draw the reflections on the bottom eyelid. And here we can add some more green for contrast. And also add a little bit of this dark brown in the middle of the lips. Black pencil I use just in the very end of my work to draw the bottom eyelashes. And then the pencil should be really sharp because everything is so tiny here and the eyelashes are the tiniest of all. And now I'm going to add reflections to her eyes and for bigger reflections I'm going to use such a dot tool for nail art design and also i'm going to use such a very fine brush and this one is also and this one is also a brush for nail design so now her face is ready and i can start working on her body you see it's already painted white completely sprayed with mr super clear sealant and now the top of the body like the torso part i'm going to blush with the same pink pastels like i used for her face and then like it's a regular part and then the most interesting part is of course her tail and here i have prepared some pastels to make a very pretty gradient. I really want to make a gradient that starts here from this green teal turquoise color close to her hair color, then go into lighter blue, normal blue, dark blue, purple, and then the here her tail. I want to make pink, the same like her body. So then it will be hair will match with top of her tail and her face and body will match with the bottom of the tail and it will look pretty I think. So when I begin like I said with the pink upper part it should look the same like the face and now when the top of her body is blushed with pink pastels I'm blushing her tail with this selection of blue, green and even purple ones. And this is how the gradient look in the end. Check it out. I think it looks really pretty and from close and from far. But now I still want to make it, of course, some more detailed. And I'm going to draw scales. And you can see there are already some scales molded on her skin. There is like some scale texture. And I'm going to follow it kind of. And I'm doing it first with a white pencil. And this is how it looks. Looks pretty good, I think. And then I have also picked up a bunch of pencils matching the colors of the gradient. So now I'm going to take these pencils and add more shadowing to the scales. It will give the tail some extra dimension and it will look more realistic, colorful, more 3D. And 
and then I take silver paint and I add some extra highlights to her tail and I think it's gonna be done after this. This paint is made especially for airbrush so it has very liquid texture and it's ideal for making such a very delicate highlights otherwise normal acrylic paint silver acrylic paint would probably be a little bit too thick for doing this so this is how her tail looks after all my work that I've done and I'm really happy with it. I think it looks really, really, really pretty. And the only thing that I still want to do, I want to decorate here this line where the tail and the body like come together. I want to decorate it with something like sand beach related. And for this I'm going first of all to use this decoration, stones and sand. And look at such an ASMR experience. Always wanted to open it. ASMR channel. I watch it almost every night, really. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's go back to work. I will need my uh, tacky glue. And I already prepared some stones of sand, like some tiny stones here in this seashells because I think it's going to be very handy and pretty also. <laughs> and then on top of this sand I'm going to add two tiny shells. I want to give this doll such a seashell top but unfortunately I couldn't find two the same shells of the right size so i think i'm going to sculpt them myself using of course my epoxy sculpt i'm going to protect her body here with tape and trying to recreate some more or less shell looking shape when the epoxy sculpt gets hard, I cover it first with a couple of layers of white acrylic paint and then I'm going to decorate them also a little bit to make them look like some pretty decorative seashells. And there is still another detail that I want to make for this doll and it's not really like an accessory, it's rather a little friend. Because look, I've bought online such a tiny fish tank with a fish and I think it will be very good detail for this Pisces doll in the end. Normally it's a necklace, I think, or something like this. I have my own plans for this thing. And first of all, I'm going to paint this fish because I'm going to customize it completely. Welcome to fish customizing Bob Natalie. Now the goldfish looks ready to me and I think I can start working on this water tank. And for this I will need a glue gun, I will need some sand, I will need a couple of shells, some plant. Now I'm going to take my glue gun and I'm applying some glue inside of the fish tank. I add some sand on top of it. And in the middle of this glue on the bottom, I Im install this plant. And I also put a couple of shells around. So now the basic installation is ready and I'm going to take epoxy and then I put this mix also very slowly, very gently inside of the water tank. And now I let it for a while because I want it to get like half hard and then on top of it I'm going to install the fish and then add some more of this epoxy mix. And to curl her hair I'm going to use this very thin 
curler and honestly I've got it once for free in our local supermarket and I was even going to throw it away for years because it's first of all way too thin for my hair to curl them it would take three hours probably and the second thing it doesn't really get that warm like my hair is really thick and I cannot curl my hair with something that's slightly warm but then I started customizing dolls and now it's really my device number one. <laughs> Off camera I still made such a chair for her and decorated it with seashells and with sand. And before we see the end result pictures, I still have a very good news for people who wanted to buy my dolls. I had to cancel my trip to Dubai, don't want to talk too much about it, but honestly, one week before the event there was zero information on its website and I'm not talking about my workshops I'm talking about the fair market itself so there is a website of the fair market and it's empty just empty the last update was in 2016 so these things I'm canceling I'm not going to travel a couple of thousand kilometers to check if this event is really going on <laughs> or it's something else I don't want to check it doesn't matter it's not about it but all the dolls that I've made the last three or four or five even weeks you will see all of them now on your screen are going to be online for sale on my eBay store the link to my eBay store will be in the description box so if you're interested if you want to buy one of my dolls you can go check them there there will be online for three days and now it's time for the pictures ready let's go I really hope Pisces that you have enjoyed my special video dedicated to you and please let me know how many Pisces people I have here and if you really liked it. I really hope that you haven't fallen asleep today because it's a little bit longer than usually but I'm just learning to film and to edit my work and myself all like this in a new format so I'm sure it will just get better and better in the future and it was just my tryout today so please don't forget to tell me in the comment section what you think about it because this time it will help me really a lot to know how to progress, what to do in the future, so please. And this is how my studio looks when I'm making pictures. You know, yesterday I was editing this video and I've got suddenly a brilliant idea. You know, I'm selling my dolls all the time. I don't have no dolls in my house. I have no doll collection made of dolls made by me. And it's of course a little bit pity. I'm not a collectioner, but still it would be probably nice to see all of them together. And that's why I thought, hmm, it would be nice if I could make, for example, some instant pictures and put them here on my whiteboard. There is still place enough for everything. I got so excited about it that already yesterday evening I've ordered it and this morning it's arrived. And I think it could become a really cool new tradition on our channel since we have here new video forward, everything so new today. Let's make also a new tradition. Let's in the end of every video make a picture of a new doll. We will get this picture really in a second. In a couple of minutes you'll be able to see the result. And then we're going to put it here on my whiteboard. And then after a while, after a couple of weeks or months, we'll have here a nice collection of dolls made by me. And I think there is some magic in these Polaroid pictures. So I'm extremely excited. Honestly, I was just looking for a long time a decent reason to buy a Polaroid camera. And that's it. <laughs> so I was very happy. The moment I found a reason to do it, I've bought it immediately. So just look at it, how cool it is. Oh my god, it's such a real vintage 90s photo. Ah, it's so cool. <laughs> I'm extremely excited. I think it's a really good idea. And now let's put it to the whiteboard.
And that's it for today. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button, and also please support my art with your likes here on YouTube. And I will see you again the next Friday. We will meet here again in my studio and make some cool and cute things together. Love you guys. Bye.